Okay, I'm finally getting back to it. I know I said that I would uh, do a video sometime soon on money and how UV light affects it. I was hoping to have a hundred, a fifty, a twenty, a ten, a five, and a one to show exactly what's going on with those in the U.S. currency. But I don't have that. I got a twenty, a five, and a one, and then I've got some foreign currency because I'm not exactly sure if anything shows up on those under UV light. So let's get to it. Turn this light off. Turn UV light on. Ah, there. Can you see that yellow stripe on the side of that 20? All genuine $20 bills, at least from this series, and this is a 2013, have that fluorescent yellow mark on the side. Here is a $5 bill. And this one's a little bit older. It is a 2006 series. You're not really seeing much going on with that. At first I thought this might be a problem. Then I flipped it over. If you can see right there, running up that column, it'd be the fourth column from the left, from top to bottom. Let's get this in here. There is a blue fluorescent stripe that runs all the way up it. The camera's not catching it very good. You can see it shimmering just a little bit. So this one's a little bit of an older bill. It's been a little bit more beat up, so it's not as clear. But you should get a blue fluorescent stripe on a $5 bill. Now, on a $1 bill, you get nothing. One dollar bill hasn't been changed since the Federal Reserve Act and thus doesn't have any of the newer security features in it like uh, the fluorescent ribbons and all that. But I guess that's why it's one of the most widely counterfeited bills that there is. You can't really see it on here, but on the front side of this $5 bill, maybe you can just a little bit, there are some other fluorescent features that are sticking out just very lightly. Alright, now we're going to check the most loved money in the world, a 1988 series Disney dollar. It's just a piece of paper. There is no security feature I can find on this thing whatsoever. At least using fluorescent light. Alright, and now I've got a Saudi Rial. You can see there... Let me turn this light back on. Maybe that'll help. See that red writing at the bottom, right under the seal, it fluoresces a nice orange color. And you find a couple fluorescent threads throughout, but that's it, otherwise it's pretty dead to a fluorescent light. Mexican dollar bill. I wasn't able to find a whole lot on it. There's a couple things that fluoresce on it under a black light, but just very lightly. Flip it up. Take a look at the back. Mexican money's made out of plastic. It's got that hollow little window on it. 
And I'm not going to cover all security features that I'm aware of here. As I know, there's like lots of watermarks on U.S. money, micro printing, micro stamping, all that. I'm not covering that. I'm just covering some of the things you can see with a UV light. You can get a cheap UV light like this for five or seven bucks and actually use it to check money. If you've got like a small store or small business as it's coming in, you can check your money to make sure it's genuine with just the light. Also, those iodine pens work really good because these are made out of cotton rag paper, which has no starch in it. But the uh, real paper, you know, regular paper, like when people make counterfeits, is uh, full of starch. So you apply a little bit of iodine to this, it just stays yellow. You apply a little bit of iodine to paper money, that's actual wood pulp paper, funny money, and it will turn black because of the starch. Okay, I wasn't able to find anything significant except for a few fibers here and there on Korean, what do they call their money? Dongs? I think it's written on the back. No, it's a wong. There's some fluorescent threads throughout it, if you can see those glowing real good. It's got an interference pattern over here. And if you can see that, probably not, there you go. It's got water stamping. It also has a thread that goes throughout the whole bill similar to a US dollar only its thread is exposed in a handful of areas only on the front of the bill and it's more like a foils thread than it is fluorescent. Then we have the Japanese yen. I believe they call it a yen. Yes, yen. I couldn't find anything significant at all other than a couple of the inks fluoresce very, very lightly. On front and back. And it has a good water mark, good water stamp right in the middle of the bill. You can see that. I'm actually seeing another mark I didn't notice over to the right of that uh, dude with the rock and pompadour. Didn't notice that mark earlier. Yeah, you can see it from both sides. But anyway, I know even with a decent camera it's kind of hard to capture the fluorescence of the fluorescent threads and US money. But I'm trying to get it as best I can. You can see that fourth pillar over, you can see a little bit of line going up. It looks yellow on the camera, but to the eye it looks a little bit blue. The one that's on the uh, $20 bill looks a little more yellowish and it's a little brighter. I forget what color it is on a $100 bill and the 50 and the 10, but I know they're all in slightly different locations. Like, uh, okay, on the 20, if you're looking at it from the front, it's to the far left. On a 5, if you're looking at it from the front, it's slightly to the right. And they, they switch back and forth where the threads are. And of course, U.S. money harder to see it does have water stamping too if you can see Jackson's face there just above the 20 on the right hand side and I believe okay now there's fives all over this one to the left of Lincoln's head then there's a big five watermarked into it just above the ink mark 
It says five. I don't believe they have any watermarks on a one. Nope. And let's just check the Disney dollar. Nope. Again, it just proves to be paper. <laughs> Funny story on that. I never actually got to go to Disneyland. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there is a watermark on the Saudi money. You can see. Let me try angle that. Just to the right of this suave looking fellow's face, there is a copy of his face on watermark. It's not as clear as some other money. But it's definitely there. Don't imagine the Mexican money would have anything like that. Being that it's made out of plastic. But it does have a magnetic strip you can see clearly running through it. You can notice that without the backlighting too. It's just not nearly as bold. Of course, I showed you the Korean money. It's got the guy's face. And the Japanese have a watermark of that guy's face right in the middle. I was going to show like state IDs, driver's license, stuff like that. But be honest, I ran out of tape that I could cover up like addresses and you know personal information with social security numbers and I didn't want to be putting that on YouTube so I decided to forego that but if you don't believe me get yourself a light like this and scan your own state ID or license if you're from the same state I am I can guarantee you will find some marks Let's see if this will do it got a UV laser here You can use this UV laser to scan money, but you have to have a good eye. You, you're not going to be able to see this on film, unfortunately. But a UV laser does work in a pinch. You just have to have a good eye. And let, let's see if I can get it to show up on film. It's a little bit darker. Yeah, you can see where it fluoresces over. But your best bet is just to get a light. Anyway, I hope this has been informative. I hope you learned something. And uh, thanks for watching.